honest, we were just trying to show a real depiction of what it feels like to be a teenage girl because that often isn't shown truthfully on film or in any sorts of media. I think that often people are afraid to talk about female sexuality in teenage girls and this was kind of the first thing I'd ever read that was just like really honestly saying like, oh well, teenage girls, they get horny and they become sexual and they want to explore that part of themselves. And I wanted to, yeah, show that unapologetically. Well, I was trying to show female sexuality from the female perspective, which I think is the thing that we don't get to see most of the time. Whether we realize it or not, most of the times we see sexuality portrayed, it's from a male perspective, from an adult perspective. I was really trying to show this whole movie is really from the perspective of the teenage girl. It all kind of takes place in her mind. She doesn't feel like she's a victim, so we can't feel like she's a victim. She feels like everything she's exploring and experimenting with is pretty fun, until it isn't. But um, So it was really important that we were just always, always in her mind's eye. And sometimes that means the sexuality is really hot, and sometimes it means it's really awkward and funny, and sometimes it, it takes on all those different forms because that's what life is like and that's what sex is really like. Well, Monroe is 35 in a relationship with Minnie's mother, and then he strike up this thing behind uh, Charlotte, the mother's back. And I think what he's drawn to is, well, I think it's a couple of different things. He's drawn to, in many ways, I think Monroe is, in my, my way of, the way of approaching the character for me was to see him in many ways as a 15-year-old boy. And I think he's desperately holding on to his own, like, I, the idea of himself as a, as a kid, and 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 that was a way of me to for for me to find out figure out because he he talks about like in the future I got my vitamin business and I got I'm gonna buy this boat and I'm gonna do this and all that, but at the same time like he really and I'm gonna go to Est and better myself and all that kind of stuff. But it's like he's also really afraid of commitment and 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 getting old and um, and maturing and taking responsibilities. So in a way like. The, this connection, and I think that's that was a way of for us to find making it make to make the connection real and genuine, is was to find those moments where they were just two teenagers in love, mm -hmm. but then there were moments where he was like, no, oh my God, I'm in I'm in a relationship with your mother. This we no no no, this is not happening. And like he plays the part of the the mature, responsible, grown man. Uh, doesn't play it very well and for very long because he kind of slips back into this like what's real and that's what was that was kind of the the interesting journey I guess of like discovering who Monroe was who's kind of and and to make it not just like too predatory where he's just I wanted to make it confusing for the audience like and isn't that true of all of us that once you get to be kind of an adult you don't necessarily <laughs> feel emotionally like that's your real age right you still identify with yourself at some point in the past, yeah. often when you were a teenager. Yeah. You still yeah. think of yourself And in that some way. people need to escape from that more desperately than others. Yeah. And yeah. you definitely some wanted to really get, like, get, get away from on. that. Alex was my first on-screen kiss, so I'd never done anything like that before. Um, I think it was exciting. Now you've done everything. <laughs> now I've done it all. <laughs> no, like, I was excited at the prospect of kind of showing sex in an honest way from the female perspective, showing a female body on screen that's like an, a normal teenage girl and not some Hollywoodized version of a woman that we get so much. Um, Alex and I, Mari, had like two weeks rehearsal before we, we did all the sex scenes in the first week, um, but we had two weeks rehearsal beforehand where we really kind of just got to like the bare bones of Minnie Monroe's relationship and emotionally mapped everything out. So that once we got down to doing it, you know, everything felt really truthful and um, nothing felt gratuitous. It all felt really right for the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, of course it was nerve wracking and stuff. Well, and that's the key, fine. isn't it? Like if you know why you're there and if you know why, what, like how this piece of the puzzle fits into yeah. the storytelling, like sex scenes aren't awkward. They're only, like I said, they're only awkward if it's gratuitous if it or if you're like, sense. why am I naked right now? Like, If, if you it doesn't feel like you're being exploited. But if, yeah. you, if you build up that trust with your filmmaker and your co-stars and you're excited about the, the story you're telling and you know how it fits in, um, then it's, I don't, it's not a problem, is it? No, not at all.